That's impossible. <laughs> of all time? Oh my goodness me, that's extremely difficult. I don't know, it's a very it's a very hard question. Oh Yes, it's very complicated. All time. Whoa. Well, I have to say, I think Network is. Network is one of my favorite films of all time. I think Paddy Chayefsky was a genius. I think what he wrote about in 1976 at the time was just a comedy and everything he wrote about came true. I like that movie. I think that might be my favorite. Well, my fa I can tell you my favorite comedy is Young Frankenstein. Give my creation life! And my favorite sci-fi is Blade Runner. All About Eve is one of my favorites oh my of all time. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. I went through a moment in high school where I, I did see American Beauty, like I want to say at least 20, 25 really? times. I wish things would have been better for you. Take care of Dad. Lawrence of Arabia, you have David Lean, that, that world, yeah. of all time it's an easy answer for me it's Ghostbusters it is the movie that is often tried to be duplicated but no one has kind of ever been able to do it supernatural comedy it's so good Ghostbusters very high up on my list what's your favorite movie of all time E.T. E.T. <laughs> I'd say The Shining it's kind of obvious, but, you know. Here's Johnny! Uh, it's still Casablanca. Yeah, you took my answer. I, uh, yeah. I, just, I just watched it again with my, yeah. with my kids, my nine-year-old daughter, and the endless debate, you know. <laughs> Did she want to stay? Did she want to get on the plane and all that? I, I don't have, necessarily have a favorite, but the most important movie I've ever seen is an endless documentary, Showa. I ask him, why are they here? Corpses, you mean? Corpses. Oh, some like it hot. <laughs> some like it hot. Oh, it's the second person that said that. Yeah, well, it's a great movie. <laughs> mm. I mean, Raging Bull would have to be up there, I guess. Nothing touches the Godfather for me. God, Godfather one. I want reliable people, people that aren't going to be carried away. I mean, we're not murderers. Back to the Future. Number one. And number two, I like to think of them as uh, companion pieces. That's a great question. Maybe I think 400 blows, I'd say that right now, and I'll change my mind and come find you in a little bit. Tootsie. Yeah, such a great movie. Taxi! <laughs> All that jazz. Oh, really? You were quick. Yeah, totally. Some people like really hum and haw, hem and haw for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why all that jazz? Um, I just still think it's one of the most brilliantly written and shot movies. It was kind of a kind inspiration for this film. A man who is dying, who is taken to task by several strong women in his life and kind of made to answer for the choices that he's made in his life in a kind of very fundamental way. I really want to say three. I've got three really strong. It's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, the Red Shoes. <laughs> The Umbrellas of Chaborg. And the assassination of Jesse James. Stand by me. Stand by me. I love that movie. Pulp Fiction. That's a good one. 
and I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Bridesmaids, actually. They're probably bridesmaids. <laughs> I love bridesmaids so much. I've watched it like 25 times. I'm ready to party with the best of them. How do you say in English when you don't go to school? Oh, playing hooky. Playing hooky? Yeah. Okay. When you play hooky and, and you go to a... I used to go to the Cinematec, you know, in Mexico, to the Cineteca Nacional. And uh, and the films that I saw, all of them, even though they were... Some of them were worse than others or better than others, you know. All of those films are really meaningful to me.